This is called Jacob's Ladder or the Climbing Ark. It was made famous by the original Frankenstein movie in 1931, showing at least five Jacob's Ladders. And thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. These two electrodes here are around 25,000 volts. When I power them up, the potential between the two electrodes rips the electrons off of the air molecules, creating a plasma. This plasma is conductive and a high current then passes through the plasma. Initially, the plasma strikes at the bottom of the electrodes where they're closest together. But then notice how the plasma rises up to the top of the wires and then disappears and then starts at the bottom again. But why does the arc rise? Well, it's because the plasma is so hot. It heats the air around it almost instantly. And since warm air rises, the air and the plasma rise up the electrodes. But the way I bent these wires, you can see that they get further apart. So as the arc moves up the wire, eventually the wires are so far apart that the air can't break down anymore, and the arc stops and the current suddenly stops, and then the plasma dies out. But then the voltage builds up again, and the parts of the wire that are closest together at the bottom spark again, and it all starts over. So the Jacob's Ladder is really cool and all, but can we make it even cooler? Well, what if we didn't want the sparks to just rise up and then start over again, but would it actually be possible to make them move in a circle? For example, what if we just made one electrode as the outer ring, and then another electrode as an inner ring? And if I turn on my power, then we can get the spark to occur. But it doesn't move in a circle, it just stays in place. Sometimes it'll jump around a bit, but definitely no circular movement. It's clear that we shouldn't expect a circular movement of the plasma arc because the heat of the plasma wants to move it upward, and so there's nowhere for it to go. But there's another way to make a plasma move in a circle, and the way to do it is by using magnets. And before we continue, I'd like to thank Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in school or working full time, if you're like me, you have to write a lot. Good communication is the key to success, and Grammarly is a tool that sets you up for success. Grammarly is a communication assistant that helps 30 million people connect with others by being more precise and effective in their communication. Grammarly is easy to use across different platforms, including browser extension, desktop editor, and mobile keyboard app. What I love about Grammarly is it even has tone rewrite suggestions that can help you be more confident in your writing and emails. For example, in this email, I unintentionally sound unconfident. But Grammarly can help you fix it so you sound more confident in your communications. Sometimes when time's short, my emails also can give off the wrong tone, and Grammarly can also help fix that as well. It works where you work, such as Google Docs or even Microsoft Word, to ensure your tone is coming across the way you want it to. Remember, the right tone can help move your projects forward with the help of Grammarly. So go to grammarly.com slash action lab to sign up for an account. And if you'd like to level up your writing and tone, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. Now let's get back to our experiment. So first let's see a regular arc that forms when I turn on the high voltage. But now watch what happens when I put my giant magnet underneath it. It suddenly starts spinning in a circle really fast. This is what it looks like at regular speed. The arc is spinning around so fast that it just looks like a continuous plasma between the outer and the inner ring here. We can make even more plasma in the center by changing the size of the inner ring. So let's make it as small as possible by just using the wire as the inner ring. Now turn on the power and the arc forms in place, but then I slide the magnet underneath and suddenly it spins in a circle. This is so cool. Literally, it looks like a real-life ender portal. Oh. oh no. The reason the arc is spinning is because as the electrons move through a magnetic field, there's a force that they feel called the Lorentz force. This causes the electrons to move at right angles to their direction of motion so the plasma actually gets swirled around. You can see these perfect spirals here. 
This is the same phenomenon that makes all electric motors and generators work. That's why motors spin in the first place, because electrons are moving through the wires in the electric motors, just like electrons are moving through this plasma here. In an electric motor, it causes the wire spools to spin, but here the plasma is the thing that's spinning. This looks so cool, it's like a portal of fire. It's so cool. So we made a real life ender portal, only if you try to jump through this one, you're just gonna end up with third degree burn. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, and we'll see you next time.